Hello, welcome back to Wine for the People, YouTube's only show where we be dumb and try wines blind on camera with more than one guy. Here we're going to try six wines from one country which we don't know anything about, uh, kindly supplied to us by our dear friends at Different Drop. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's not muck around anymore, eh? Guess in the country. This should be piece of piss, let's be honest. <coughs> 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 All right, wine number one. All right, wine number one. Uh, a very sort of spicy white wine. Definitely a celery seed, white pepper spice here. Immediately my head's going to Gruner. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. 12, 60 bucks. Boom. Rich, broad, lovely, lovely acid. Beautiful primary kind of tropical, like peachy, stone fruity, pineapple fruits. There's some apple, there's some lemon in there as well. Mineral drive, nice kind of nutty hits. Everything I really love in white wine. That texture is just gorgeous. I uh, got the texture of Gruner. Like walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, smells like a Gruner. <laughs> and it's a great wine. That's really good gear, that. It's like fruity. Just I wasn't expecting from my parmesan. Also, I've just realized this is my girlfriend's hair tie, not mine, because I am losing circulation in this wrist. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. It could be in New Zealand. Uh, also, there's something, if I'm wrong about that first wine, something's got me thinking Spain or Portugal already. So, I don't know. I've got a few different options here. Let's see if we can keep, 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 keep narrowing it down. And I'll have, I'll have a half dozen of those because it's pretty tasty shit. Of course, it's not my hair tie. My hair's tied up, you idiot. All right. It's going back on. I don't want to lose it. Uh, same again here. Even darker and richer again. Jeepers. Um, it's got a bit of haze to it, I reckon. There's definitely some coppery, orangey highlights. It's pretty interesting. And it's that celery seed sort of uh, white pepper spice that's just even more like dialed up here. Gorgeous texture. Really deft hand at this um, skin contact uh, application here. Super deft hand. Very considered. Um, yeah, yeah, it's that good shit. That's just like, for, for people who, I find a lot of people out when I'm doing like tastings and events like that, they're like, I don't like white wine. It's too acidic and it all tastes like white wine. These sorts of wines don't taste like white wine. Mineral, fuzzy, textural. It's not quite like super orangey, but it's like, you'd call it, it has some tannin, it has some structure. I love this flavor. Yeah, we've, I, we've had a lot of these styles of wine on the show before. Like, I reckon, we had a lot of these styles of wines back in the, the sometimes always days. Quite remarkable, to be honest. And I would actually pay a little bit more. I'd actually pay $42 a bottle for this, and I would totally buy 12. I think these first two wines are dunning. Uh, straight out of the bat, I'm very, very impressed. Especially because I'm doing tasting events in South Australia where so many people have grown up drinking like either really flabby, decadent Chardonnays, which are a bit just like <laughs> really mineral, clean Rieslings, which can be a bit like, ee! in the middle here, you've just got like that, ah, and this is a, ah, wine, that's cool. Like, you know, maybe we've got some like, you know, like, I don't know, like peri peri chicken, like some like spicy harissa, and you got to cook some chicken on the barbie, ooh. <laughs> Wine number three. Definitely a lot of skin contact here. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Oh shit, is that skin contacts music I hear? Bam, 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 bam. We got an orange one, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, get some. That's awesome. That is exactly my kind of orange wine. All class. Just really quite luscious palette. Flows. Really balances the intensity of that skin contact without it being pushed into this sort of rancier level. Yeah, the more orange wine I drink, the more I like good orange wine. Because like, in the early days, I would have been like, uh, oh, it's lanolin, it's red, uh. Come around to it, you sons of bitches, you goddamn natty winemakers out there making all these skin contact orange wines. I'm into it. At that quality of like, great elite orange wine. This is just good Italian orange wine. Oh, definitely Italian inspired. Like, I think this is kind of what got people really excited about the category in the early part of the 2010s. Those kind of rustic, savory, um, but super food friendly, like tea-like styles of orange wine. Really delicious. This is sort of like textbook. This is where sort of orange wines are getting to. They're all classic and beautiful. Um, 38 bucks a bottle, and I would buy six. Buy six. 38 bucks, obviously, because it's orange. Give me three of them. Ah, oh, fuck. I love it, right? But like, it's orange wine, and like, there's only so many people and times and places that you can be calling to be drinking for orange wine, as opposed to the previous thing, where it, like, the last one was nicknamed Real Yum, and this one's Little Buddy. So like, I need more Real Yums than Little Buddies in my life. <laughs> All right, number four, beautiful red wine. Like, you know, lovely kind of pale ruby, looks light, bright, juicy, 
easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Yum, yum, yum. Quite a, a, a transparent red wine, very, very light uh, in color um, and firmly in that sort of red spectrum. Of <sighs> Free education, now you have to keep it in. Okay, I like my Nero shout. I like my Nero shout a lot. It smells like freshly picked cherries and all of that sort of jazz and it tastes like a lovely, tight, vibrant tannin mixed with his awesome brambly blue, brambly blue fruits. All right, straight away, this gives me a massive hint. I'm not too confident on the variety, but I am confident on one thing. This is a red wine that has very, very thin flavor. Sour cherry sweet juice which is screaming narrow at me. Another 12 for me, 30, $37 for me. Oh, beautiful kind of lovely patterns there. Kind of green, but I think that'll slow down with time, but it's just so puckering and moorish. Absolutely delicious. Could be like frappato even, something like that. Love it, absolutely love it. One of five. Like a little bit of red brick around the edges here. So this is either gonna be like, oh fuck, this could really play into my Italian shout if this is Nebbiolo now. This yeah, definitely got some savoriness to it. Like really herbal, really dark, ripe kind of like dry, like currants and like sultanas. Like a lot of those kind of like dried fruits, iodine. Yeah, wow. Great tannin, great tannin. That holds like the whole mid palette is basically hollow. Lovely wine, delicious wine, but I would, I'd wanna, this is almost like a red wine that I'd almost be able to pair with like white wine, um, you know, acidities, white wine, uh, body and weight. Ah, bugger it, Neb, because it does have the dead and bro valve, which is why I'm now trying to talk while not dribbling. So you swallow that and then you keep talking. It's the appropriate way to do it. We edit these videos, so it doesn't have to all be one take. Nebbiolo. Um, really ripe tannin, really intense tannin. And there's a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna go Amarone. It's not quite as like rich and full bodied as a lot of Am Amarones are, but it's also not as volatile. Although again, it's just that alarm bell. It's like, it's cold client. Um, I would pay $35 a bottle for this and I buy three bottles. It's just, I typically will side on the uh, air on the side of these white wines more so, so far from what I've seen. And <laughs> Anyways, uh, one number six, uh, same kind of color verse, a little bit paler, still in that brown, but still got that kind of cherry red core. Oh wow, there's nothing on the nose, nothing on the nose. There's a decent amount of like, there's, there's some age here. It feels like it's large formats like Slovenian oak. It's kind of got that blueberry sort of nose. It kind of makes me think a little bit of like Northern Italy. Oh, is this corked? Was this under cork? Actually, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Henry didn't pick up. Well, Henry wouldn't pick up it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's winter red. And it's getting cold. I don't know if you saw, but in a previous video, I was wearing a sweater, for goodness sake. And I'm a hot boy. I run warm. It's getting cold down here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is tannic as fuck. Uh, could well be a Nebbiolo, to be honest. Tastes like a Nebbiolo. Looks like a Nebbiolo. Where else in the world makes Nebbiolo that also makes amazing textural whites that smell and taste like greener? It smells like cork, but it doesn't smell like cork tainted. It just smells like barrels and cork and old world wine. I'm, I'm gonna go with Austria. I don't understand the reds. That's that's kind of thrown me entirely. And if it's not Austria, I would probably uh, look towards like high altitude Chile. Give me that for 60 bucks. There's a bunch of Italian wines that we've just drunk. I'm pretty confident in it. Except that Italy's a very obvious guess and it's probably gonna be like Greenland. Anyway, we'll find out, see what the boys think. Uh, six wines uh, from one particular country and I have to say, quite frankly, pretty much all of them were fucking excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah really, really smart, really awesome wines and all elegant, all well made. I, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of money. I didn't spend like, like I didn't have like really high spenders, but like some of them Yeah, I, I spent between like, uh, you know, 40 and 90 across the board. So, you know, in that mid to high tier, um, but yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, I was in a similar boat. Like all of these are really well-made wines. There are things that are more to my taste, less to my taste, but like even the ones that are less to my taste, I'm like, oh no, soon I'll be into you. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but one day, <laughs> one day. Do so we have guesses on country? Like what? It was hard to go past Italy for me. Mm. It was really hard to go past Italy. Like, you know, amazing textural white, kind of skinsy, extra skinsy, mm. like bright light, but rustic, mm. like very rustic. Mm. Um, and then some too well. rustic. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I think like, Italy was just so firmly lodged in my brain. Yeah, I also landed on Italy, but the reason I landed on Italy is I smelt this first wine and I thought it kind of smelled like Parmesan cheese. I'm like, where do they make Parmesan cheese? Goddamn Italy. And then I just drank it's through the rest of it. Revolutionizing the Western exam right now. Well, I drank through the rest of the <laughs> He went with his gut though. <laughs> And nothing told me that it wasn't from it Italy, wasn't Italy, so I was like, Parmesan, maybe let's yeah. roll with it. I 
was stumped. I didn't go with Italy. This wine here and this one here ultimately sealed the deal for me. It was already kind of like anchored uh, at that point and I went Austria. First one. Stunner. Yum. Sick. Was, so good. Uh, pretty much it was between these two for one line up for me. I couldn't, I couldn't pick. I like the first four for fuck, like, rippers. Yeah, I rippers. loved this. Yeah, this I, was... I smelt it. I tasted it. I was like, this is my wine. That's delicious. Yeah. I could drink this every day, twice on Sundays, yeah. three times on Saturdays. Um, the spiciness on the nose for me was like awesome. It was like, what a great appeal. It's not a wine that's like Thousands. oaky on the nose. Dude. It's not like a aromatic sort of style. It's just, it's got that nice celery seed, white pepper spice thing. And I just thought, oh. Yummy, yummy, it, finished, waxy, brilliant. The, so the reason I was like, I don't think it smells exactly like Parmesan cheese, but like when you get a really strong whiff of that, it gives me the same sort of like up your nosy thing that yeah. an aged rindy, cheese does. Yeah. Like that rindy sort of thing. Yummy, I was, yummy. I was less into the smell, but then I tasted it, I was like, oh, actually alongside with how that tastes, that's actually really good. Like that <laughs> yeah. one's a smell as well. I was really into that. Uh, well, I wanted to pay 40 bucks and I was straight 12 bag. I was 60 and 12, 100%. I was 40 and 6, but I'm going to bump it to 12 because that's sick. Lucky. It is it Suave Monchetti! Let's go! It's done. Italia! What's Italia. Italia! That's awesome. For $35, this wine fucking wow. rules. Wow, slaps, dude. Mm. That's um, awesome. Uh, epic wine, beautiful people. I was lucky enough to meet them, actually, because Franca about Wine, the wonderful importers, distribute our wine on the East mm, Coast, mm. did an event in uh, Victoria, and they were there. Mm. Um, lovely people, epic wines. This is their yeah. entry level, uh, every single step of their range. All they do is three uh, Garganagas, uh, Suave, and this is their entry level, and yummy. You know, this yeah, is really such yummy, yummy. I could yeah, drink yummy. this every single day. Yeah. It's so fun. And happy to be wrong as well, because... I know that some of these wines are stunning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. delicious. Italy, cool. Italy, yeah, Italy. Yeah, we're not. Oh, mate, dude, we're well not. <laughs> See that? West uh, <laughs> Between the two of us, a West we, we, we are the same. Oh, we are the same. Yeah. Uh, number right. two. Uh, again, loved this. Real yum. Love that kind of Real tropical, yummy. almost like orange wine halfway house. Like texture, a bit of phenolic structure, oh, really God, beautiful. Good. Yeah, I remember, this is, I actually like, wrote this up as my wine lineup, and it was between these first two, but just the deft use, the ability for a winemaker to just not push it over the edge. Oh. I just, I, I'm enamored by it. I'm enamored I by it. I love that, like, very, very apric apricotty, guava, mm. like, uh, mm. grapefruity thing. All it's of that. so mm. sick. I'm, I'm big into this. I called it Falangina. I went, like, I was real companion for the first three. Uh, I called this one real yum. I wanted to spend $48 and I wanted a dozen. Uh, 42 and it does. 42 and it does. So we've bought <laughs> six dozen so far. <laughs> 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 we should import this shit. Anyway, uh, what do you got? No. Oh! oh uh, Foradori, yeah, yeah. Elizabeth Foradori. In Zolia. You pay for the brand, you pay for winemaking. This is fucking excellent this stuff. This is the, the prettiest I've ever seen, that wine. Yeah, that's clean. I think she might be mm. uh, tidying up that, that winemaking side of things. Oh, just wow. Like, what that a ripper. What an absolute <laughs> ripper. <laughs> so yeah, good. That's really good. I know, look at, look at, uh, that being said, look at the fruit on the front. Look at that, like that symbol. That definitely looks like a tropical fruit of some does, kind. And yeah. it's very reflective of yeah. what's inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> number three. Yum, delicious, Yum. excellent skin contact wine. Uh, yep. it had to be the Northern Italian or like Greco or something like that. I went Greco because again, I was feeling, I was feeling South. Mm. Um, hell yeah, brother, all into it. Yeah, yeah I think South's a shout here. Fiano maybe even. Um, Greco, that color is like, yeah. yeah. It gives me Greco vibes. Greco vibes. Yeah, it looks like a couple of ones that we make. Um, I, I got little butterscotchy things from it. Which 100%. I was really into. Mm, yeah. Mm. So I called this Little Buddy. I had no idea what the rider was, but <laughs> I liked favorite it. Favorite rapper, actually. Little Buddy. <laughs> yep. Um, $38, obviously. Yep. But it's imported, so it's probably going to be like 45. 65. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had 38 and 6. Uh, again, it was one of those, like, uh, uh, I don't know, after tasting this, I'm like, I have more use cases. Yeah. Um, Similar sort of deal, like, I don't maybe need I'd, I'd age no. this longer, I'd drink that quicker, I'd, I'd age, age this longer. Long. I think it's yeah. just sit around for a while. I was 12, loved it, 70 bucks. In Radicon. Radicon! That is wow. the cleanest Radicon that we have had on the show. Yes, it and is. And I've had in the last decade. Slatnik. That is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> is it not? It's called Slatnik. Yeah, what did I say? No, it's Slatnik. Slatnik. <laughs> Slatnik. <laughs> um, I think that's the name of the wine. Um, I believe the variety See, would be Ribola Giallo. Uh, yeah, there's no particular, uh, I need, we need to double check the um, exact um, Sipage. Sipage for this particular one, but um, holy shit. That's like, very clean. 
Wow. This is this is the absolute roll of the dice you play with uh, this particular producer. Is that it's a name brand? You get the, this and the smaller bottles and all that kind of stuff. But you go in and it's like, is it going to be perfect or is it going to be fucked? And you yeah. try and we've we've. We got a Tasted one. the absolute height of heights. This is unbelievable shit. Love this. One hundred percent. Beautiful, pretty. Yeah. Nailed it. Lovely tannin. Yeah, dude, it's, that smells it's, good. It's something from uh, cool Veneto. Vino, yeah, like, it could that. be it could be Valpol or Bartolino even. Bartolino. Um, yeah. But yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I got distracted on this one because I was like, ah, oh, it's in Italy, cool. This is the first thing that I actually had a shot at the varietal with, and I smelled it, and I was just like, oh, this kind of smells like our fresh AF, which is a Nero Zabibo blend. So yes. I was like, this is a Nero because it's so bright. There was a so part of me juicy. that thought about Frappato as well for yes. this as well. Um, so yeah, it's got that kind of Sicilian influence there, but yum, delicious. Yeah, yeah super, super tasty. Good. Yeah. Uh, I wanted three oh, and 38. Such a good smell. Uh, 12 and 37. Uh, six and 43. Lucky. <laughs> Well done. Narrow Davila? Yep. Narrow, hey! Narrow Frappato. Hell yeah. yeah. Well done, dude. And specifically That's awesome. the wine that we actually quite reference with Fresh AF as well. Like both the Bianco and the... Yeah. Oh, Nailer guys. Nailer stop Nailer it. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting to feel like less of a fluke these days. Yeah, 11% as well. Damn, that's good. Yeah, yeah right. That's, and also, that's the cleanest I've seen that in about a decade. <laughs> All of these wines are really like, like from Foradori, Radicon, and Occapinti, uh, are exceptionally more clean than we've yeah. ever seen them before. Mm. Which that's is really, amazing. really quite awesome. Like, yes, we love this. More of it, please. Good yeah, shit. Uh, uh, number five. Look, this is a very, very good wine. This is a very good wine yeah. that I do not want to drink all that much. Yeah, fair. It's just too much for That's me. It's just a little bit too iodine rustic. It's almost like the Amarone kind of thing. Mm. I call it Amarone, but it's a bit lighter mm. on that style, but I'm just not that, I'm not that into it. Yeah. It's just not for me. Rosso? That's very rustic and there's not enough freshness. I mean, they mm. might be aged, but I wasn't super into it, but I think it's really high quality. Mm. Um, I think it's one to have with like a very, very nice piece of red meat. Mm. Um, and I'd get two bottles, mm. one for, to have with that nice piece of red meat and one to just put in my cellar and forget mm. and pull it out mm. like after 15 years and be like, oh, that might be really interesting and it'd probably be delicious. Yeah. Um, so I was, I was happy to pay 90 bucks for it because I reckon this is pretty good gear, but I'll, I'll only get two. I went back into my uh, new rule that I've decided that when a wine looks like that, I just write down Nebbiolo and ask questions later. And I wrote down Nebbiolo and I'm asking questions now. Why isn't that Nebbiolo? Because it doesn't have enough tannin. Thank you. Yeah. That's all Whereas that it, it starts to change up here where it's oh, significantly more. But <laughs> no, that's fine. It could no, also no. be like a super rustic sand. Yeah, it definitely like, could be. You know, could be. Yeah. But it's just not like a lot of aromatic prowess uh, uh, yeah. to it as well. Yeah, but no, I, I wanted 35 bucks and three. Yeah. Uh, three for $48. Yeah, we're in that kind of slot. Lockie. <laughs> Is this like a queen or something? Sangiovese. What a funny label. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't think this is what you want from a $22 Sangiovese. Is that from 2022? Yeah. No, that's not that's what you want. Bit like, I, I had um, the Moretti like, Sangiovese, a like, Chianti, and it was just bright, it was juicy, it was fresh. Yeah. It had rustic tannin, but this is all rustic tannin and freshness. Mm. I'm sorry, mm. but yeah, that, that's not what I'm looking for from Sangiovese. Like, no, but if you're looking for a $22 bottle of rustic wine, Oh that's yeah, great. absolutely. You know what I mean? Like in terms of what you were saying about like having a big piece of red meat and with it's it. Declassified Chianti as well. Yes. So they've not noted. Toscana Sangiovese, yeah. so it's from all over the joint. So oh yeah, it could be a big blend or it might not not might be like out of yield or something like mm. that. Yeah. You know, it's built to be cheap. Um, and, and this stuff is. is like everywhere through the States as well, Poggio Anima. Um, I believe it's a side project of um, an importer based in New York. Um, ah. uh, yeah. Fine street imports, I think. Yeah, um, makes this stuff. I was about it. Uh, one number six. Uh, it's got to be Neb. Unfortunately, it's corked. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon it's corked. I've just got no idea what corked wine smells like, eh? Hey? Yeah, it is corked. Oh, it's corked. Shit. It's corked as fuck. It's corked as fuck. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't review it. Um, I think this yeah. is. Uh, I didn't pick up on uh, but this might be under Vinalock, so you never know. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> was funny. I've just, yeah, it's I've just realized how many of the wines that I was drinking growing up with dad must have been corked because every time I smell this, I'm like, this smells like dad's wine. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not and I don't mind it. I don't mind yeah, it. Wines from Australia in the 90s were pretty, pretty hairy. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 12 and 60 for you, big dog. <laughs> yeah, I went to the market for corked wine. It's Henry Doyle. Yeah, yeah I went. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone at Rockford is just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now, nah, like structurally, it's really sound. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it's corked. I wrote stroke the furry what? Stroke the furry wall. Sixty dollars, twelve bottles. 
Enough said. Uh, I had three bottles for 50 bucks. Mm. And you had none for none. Oh, uh, yeah, no, zero for zero. Yeah. Barbaresco. Oh, that's, okay. That is, you, uh, where's the freshness new, here? New producer. Um, I haven't seen before. Smell the corpse. It smells Corky. like corpse. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like, yeah. Mm. I actually really love that smell. Yeah, though. no, that's, yeah, it's, that's, that smells like fresh. Sadly, that's, um, that's gone. Um, yeah. But yeah, oh well, um, that's just, that is the game you play. Um, that's why I should all move to d -arm because, you know, get with the times. You know, have, have the punt at $65 Barbaresco, like that doesn't exist anymore in Australia. Mm. It just mm. does mm. not exist. Also, so have a crack. If you buy a bottle of corked wine, just find someone like me to drink it with and they'll think you're a fucking hero. So like... There you go. Yeah, I think you're nice with steak. Um, what was your line of, one of the lineup? <laughs> Man, it's tough. It's got to be one of these two. It's got to be one of those two. Yeah. We all loved that. Um, that was my one lineup. Yeah, we all loved that Foradori. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Second time. No Nociola. Yeah. Uh, Italy is the greatest wine growing country in the world. Fight me, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, see you next week. Ciao. Yeah.